of politics and politicians. Indeed, politics is a dirty game. It's a common saying that more than sums up this popular perception. Today, I'd like to explore with you what is qualities and humility that everyone saw in President Atta Mills really mean and how they matter and are relevant in our national development and our nascent democracy. Indeed, this is a conversation that has assumed even greater poignancy and significance in the equally painful loss of our former Vice President, Pakwesi Imisa Arthur, whom Fifi appointed as the Governor of the Bank, and whom we are mourning as we speak, and about whom, just in case anybody missed it, the same virtues were widely recalled in teeming tributes. I speak advisedly about ethicality. Now, just in case any one of you might feel it is a little dense, ethicality, think of ethics, it is something that straddles the terrains of honesty, humility, and decency, and a concern for the moral quality of any cause of action we canvass as leaders and as politicians generally. Thus, taken in its broad sweep, ethicality does not simply mean being a nice person, being a nice guy. Indeed, President Mills himself spoke in a number of his um, State of the Nation addresses on the subject. In one, he pledged to always be guided by a principle he had long cherished, he said, to always strive to make the right decision rather than a hasty and expedient one the right decision. He spoke about his commitment to creating an atmosphere of inclusiveness, respect, and courtesy in our national discourse and debate, and I quote, and to doing away, he said, with the style of politics that, and I quote, mistook democratic transfer of power opportunity to wreak vengeance. He took a decisive stand and was determined to break the cycle of vengefulness 
does so besets the nation and often sees businessmen, contractors driven to ruin. That sees even public servants on occasion more or less summarily dismissed for barely disguised political reasons. All of this behind a veil of profuse legalism. More importantly, it was his natural inclination to ethical principles that gave him the supreme courage to put the interests of the people, especially the middle to lower ranks of the civil service, above his personal popularity and that of the party he led by ordering the implementation of the single-spine pay policy, a policy that was adopted in the dying days of the Kufo administration, President Kufo's administration, in spite of the huge challenges it posed for the management